Hello, hello, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a day in the life, which is a video that I've been requested to do quite a bit ever since, you know, becoming a full time YouTuber, just kind of showing what my typical day looks like. Um, I usually start with checking some emails, you know, Instagram things in the morning. That's usually how I start my day. And then getting up out of bed around 10 a.m. Yeah, I mean, each day varies, you know, at what time I'm able to wake up. My sleeping schedule has been a little ridiculous because I usually don't go to bed till like 1 or maybe 2 or 3 a.m. And then I wake up around sometime between 9 or 10 usually. Um, depending on what I'm doing that day though, I feel like every day is really different. And on this particular day, I'm doing a little bit more, you know, editing and like stuff like that as opposed to a filming day. I think I'm trying to show you that it was a really rainy day <laughs> and my sister got me McDonald's for breakfast on this particular day, even though that's not totally normal for me. But uh, these acai bowls from Costco are 100% normal. They're like one of my favorite things to eat in the morning because they're so quick and they're so freaking good. What a healthy breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Now I'm opening my laptop to get some work done. Hello, hello. Before jumping into today's day in the life, I just wanted to take a minute to thank today's sponsor, which is Billy. Because now that it's the new year, I've been working on revamping my self care routine. And what better way to do that than with Billy? This razor from Billy is super smooth. You can barely even feel it as it's like floating over your skin while you're shaving. And it also doesn't leave those annoying, you know, kind of like razor bumps that you can sometimes get from other razors that are really annoying. This one is so nice on the skin. There's also also a ton of space in between each one of the blades which helps to prevent clogging. The magnetic holder for these is such a game changer because you can set it up in your shower wherever you would like to and it definitely helps to keep your razor dry and safe and like out of the spray of the water. And it's nice because you don't have to worry about like oh my gosh where am I gonna put my razor in my shower because you have a convenient little magnet that just connects right to the wall. It's so simple. Body hair is totally normal and I know that shaving is definitely a choice and I know for me there are definitely times throughout the year where I'm shaving a lot more often than other times of the year but anytime that I do shave I'm always so glad to have this Billy razor because it makes it so much easier. One of the best things about Billy is the fact that they are super affordable and they're half the price of the usual drugstore razors and they have free shipping and what's really cool about Billy is that they have no pink tax which is something women usually have to pay more for just because they're pink products and I would definitely recommend checking out Billy. Their starter kit comes with the handle, two blades, and the whole Holders so that you can put it up in your shower all for just $10, which is such an incredible deal You can use the link down in my description to get started with Billy and thank you so much once again to Billy for sponsoring today's video And now let's cut back to a day in the life. Hello. Good morning. How is it going? It's about 1130 in the morning now and I feel like so far this morning has been pretty average You know for what a typical day in the life for me kind of looks like except for the McDonald's. Okay. I don't get McDonald's every day oh. Today was a special occasion. Um. <laughs> you know what is typical though? Tank wanting attention every second of every day. I am planning on starting to edit this video. That's actually a Patreon exclusive video that I just filmed with my mom last week. It's like a really fun like baking and like Q&A kind of video that's gonna be hopefully going up on my Patreon in like a few days here. The goal is to get it up at some point this week. So I don't know if I'm gonna finish editing this video this morning because this video, I have over an hour of footage. And so I don't think I'll be able to get all of it done within one go. Then I also do have a few different things that I'm going to be scheduling for my Patreon posts. I feel like um, as a content creator, there's a lot of like time and effort that goes into my Patreon, like behind the scenes that you, I don't know if you might not think about, I guess. Scheduling posts, editing videos, um, and even just like planning out the next month. Like today, you know, it's a little bit later in February now, and I would love to get a head start on planning some stuff that I want to happen in March. Like for example, today I just announced an exclusive Patreon, like 48 hour little readathon that we're going to be having at the end of March. And so that post just went up today. And so I'm still going to be like planning out how I want things to go for that readathon. I'm also, I love, um, now I'm doing on Patreon where I like get a blank calendar and then I can just like fill in dates of like when I'm going to be doing reading sprints and like when we're going to have movie nights and different things like that. So there's like a good visual of like everything that we're going to be doing. 
and I just love getting that set up. So I'm probably gonna start working on that today and then also scheduling posts for um, the May book troop selection so that my Patreon can vote on the upcoming book troop picks. And so for the month of May, um, I have the three books picked that I would like to see as picks. And so my Patreon will vote on which one of those three will end up being the pick. And so I need to get that post ready to go. And so I'm expecting this to take me probably a few hours to not only start editing on this video and then get these posts all ready to go. And so that's what I'm gonna be working on this morning. All right, so video editing. I think video editing is one of the things that takes the most time as a content creator. I'm probably laughing at something that my mom just said. <laughs> But video editing is probably one of my favorite aspects of YouTube, to be honest. I've always really enjoyed video editing. I actually was going to go to college to major in video editing, so it's always been a really big passion of mine. But, you know, depending on what I'm editing, I feel like it depends on how long it can take me, you know? like. For a video like this that I'm doing with my mom in this video, it's kind of like a baking and Q&A, so it actually didn't take me as long as I thought it would because it's just a lot of cutting out, you know, the moments that are slower or different things like that, or anytime I say um and but like so many times, I cut those out. Um, I think it's really the reading vlogs that take me a much longer time or any kind of vlog video takes me a little bit longer because there's just more that goes into it, you know? Like there's a lot more like B-roll and music and stuff that goes into editing a vlog. Yeah, and then I'm doing some Patreon posts, updating things, you know, as I said, there's a lot of time that I put into my Patreon and there's a lot of time where I'm just like updating posts, doing some behind the scenes work with that, you know? Like keeping up my Patreon is a lot of work, but it's also very rewarding. And then here I'm just updating the Discord with like some book troop live shows. I have two different Discords. Uh, the second Discord is for my Patreon. I'm just updating things, you know, different links that I have going on that week. And then also this readathon that I just announced, I made a new thread for it on Discord. Okay, hello. It is just a little bit, like just a few minutes after one o'clock and I was actually able to do quite a bit more than I thought I would because I was able to finish editing that Patreon exclusive video, which is exciting because that video ended up being a little bit over 40 minutes long and I don't know how I was able to edit it that fast to be honest. Like it usually takes me a lot longer to edit videos of that length, but I was able to finish that. I did end up making like scheduling a few different Patreon posts, which included, you know, voting for the May book troop selection and then I was also updating the discord, you know, because I have a discord for not only the book troop But then I also have the discord for the patreon And so I was updating both with like some live show links and you know Announcing the you know patreon exclusive readathon that I'm gonna be doing in March Like I was making a post for that and making a new little like readathon thread and yeah running the discord is a lot of fun um, I love having the discord communities for both, you know, the book troop and the patreon discord I just think discord is such a great place to you know communicate with everyone in the community and uh now while that video is rendering it usually does take my videos about like it depends on the length of the video but it'll probably take the video at least an hour and a half maybe like two hours or maybe longer to render that video so i was just gonna let that render and then while that's going on i think i'm going to start reading the new finlay donovan jumps the gun because this is a book that i am going to be reading for kayla's book club the literally dead book club um i think the live show is going to be happening in the first week of march and so i want to get ahead of the game and actually read this book because this is actually the third book Book in the series if you didn't know um finley donovan is like one of my favorite book series at the moment it's like a mystery thriller kind of cozy in a way like it does feel a little cozy to me it's been such a long time since i've read the second book and even the first book that i'm hoping that i i don't have any issues with like remembering what's going on in this story i was um fortunate enough to get the audiobook from the publisher so i am going to be listening to this one on audio and then i'm also going to be taking notes on this book in my little reading journal because I need to take notes whenever I'm reading a book like specifically for a live show um, I like to take notes on that book so that when it comes time to like do the live show I can you know quickly read through my notes before the live show and kind of get like I don't know like the main points before actually doing the live show because my memory is pretty shit these days you know and especially when it comes to remembering like really 
specific details about books and it's like when you read so many books it's like it starts to blend together you know so like I like taking pretty detailed notes about like what is happening in the book while I'm reading it so that by the time it comes around to like doing the live show I feel like I know what I'm talking about and I start to remember all the little details so anyways I think I'm going to do that I might do my uh duolingo lesson for today as well while I'm doing that because I currently have a 110 day streak on duolingo I've been uh, learning Korean for the last 110 days and it's just been going really well it's actually getting really hard I'm almost on unit 5 now and things are really stepping up it's getting very difficult and also like today is just the most um like rainy cozy day like it's literally like so stormy outside like the wind is just like blasting the rain into my window constantly and I keep telling myself I'm like I really should go to the gym today but the rain is making me feel so lazy like the rain is making me feel like I really don't want to go but I'm trying to find the motivation in myself to go because I feel like with the gym um I have such a weird you know love hate relationship with the gym because I do love going to the gym sometimes but I'm trying to get more into the routine of going going to the gym every other day you know because I feel like that's that's a really good gym routine for me to have, but it's just so hard to stick to it, you know, especially because I'm the kind of person who I like going to the gym more like in the middle of the day as opposed to the beginning of the day because I can't go that early in the morning or else I will pass out if I haven't eaten food yet. And there's just something about that like mid afternoon time around like two, three o'clock where it's just like the perfect time to go to the gym. But anyways, um, I'm gonna do my Duolingo lesson really quick and then I'm going to start on Finlay Donovan, let's do it. Okay, hi, it's like two o'clock. Um, I only got like about 17% of the way through the book, but so far it's good. It's doing like a little bit of a recap, you know, to like remind me everything that happened, which is nice. Um, and guess who wanted to go to the gym with me? What's up? <laughs> figured it's time. <laughs> yeah, this is exciting because I feel like I get more motivated to go to the gym if I have a gym buddy. So today is exciting. Whoa. Um <laughs> And we're gonna go to a different gym, like one we have not gone to before, because we have Anytime Fitness, you know, so we can go to like any gyms in the area, and we've been eyeballing this one, but we haven't gone to it yet. So we're gonna go and check it out and work out for a little bit. It should be great. It should be the best time. <laughs> I just got home from the gym. It's about 3, almost 3.30 in the afternoon. Let's not have you look at my <laughs> really chaotic and busy closet. Um, I don't know why it looks so freaking dark in my room. Like it's literally the middle of the day at like 3.30. And I don't know why Washington just gets like this sometimes where it just gets dark, like really early. 
And it's, I think it's due to the like, you know, the rainy windstorm we're having outside today. But anyways, I am probably, I'm probably just gonna take a quick shower um, at some point soon here. And then I'm just gonna continue listening to the Finlay Donovan audiobook. That new gym was pretty cool, by the way. Thought I would mention it. Um, I was not expecting it to be like that big on the inside. I mean, I've driven past that place a few times, but I never knew how big it would be on the inside. And also, you know, I mean, as you can see at the gym, I don't do anything super fancy. I just like to do kind of like the elliptical a couple of times. And then I really like to do like ab, any kind of like ab workouts with like my yoga mat and like, you know, on that like one machine. And then I do a lot of jump roping. Like, I don't know, I really love jump roping. Ever since I used to do boxing, um, when I would go to my boxing classes at 30 minute hit, I used to do a lot of jump roping there and so I just kind of miss it. So I'm trying to get back into jump roping and honestly like jump roping to the song More and Arson by J-Hope. It's like my favorite <laughs> activity ever. I mean, BTS music in general just really helps me stay motivated at the gym, but especially J-Hope's album, Jack in the Box, you know, it's fantastic. I also noticed, you know, my friend Katie uh, just started doing some reading sprints on her YouTube channel. So I love, you know, being able to watch those like whenever any of my friends are doing reading sprints on YouTube or on Patreon or anything like that. Like, oh my gosh, it helps me focus so much and it makes me feel like I'm reading with friends and it just makes my heart happy. And so, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, hello, it's about 4:45 ish in the afternoon. I have, um, you know, taken a shower. I've changed, and I've still been reading the new Finlay Donovan. I actually got 124 pages in, and I feel like this book is just reading super quick. Like I'm already about 40. I, I want to say 42 percent of the way through the audiobook, and it's reading really quick. I don't know if I'm like as obsessed with this right now as I was with like the first two books in the series because I feel like the first two books in the series were just, were just like really fun and there was like a lot of comedy and it's not like this one doesn't have that but it's just not I don't know it's not as fun for me so far as the first two books which is kind of depressing and I feel like you know Finlay's kind of involved in a somewhat love triangle throughout the series and the love triangle is not really panning out how I wanted it to to be honest that's all I'll say about that like I'm just I don't know how I feel about this love interest usually around this time of the day for me you know right around five o'clock usually is when I start you know making dinner usually it's like me and Rachel and Obed making dinner at home here I feel like we all really enjoy making dinners at home home and I feel like five o'clock is the time of the day where things really start to like wind down for me at least when it comes to like YouTube related things. I feel like this is a uh, pretty chill day in the life that I'm doing today like I feel like this is a pretty average day for me when it comes to you know doing YouTube things because I, I feel like on days when I have to you know film videos like that's a completely different situation because you know my room as you can kind of see it gets dark pretty early um, in the day in my room so there's only like a small window of time time um, in the mornings that I have a good time to film. So usually I can film anywhere between like 10 a.m. and like 2 p.m. in the afternoon is when like the lighting is the best in my room because if I wait until after two o'clock in the afternoon, I start to get these weird like shadows because you know the sun doesn't hit the best in this room as you can probably see from how weird the lighting is right now. I mean today's just a super weird stormy rainy day. Like you might even be able to hear the rain hitting against the windows. But yeah, I think now we're gonna get started on dinner. I think we're making like homemade burgers and homemade fries tonight, which should be really fun. And then I also think after dinner, we're probably going to try to catch up on the show The Last of Us because... We only have seen the first episode so far and I think now there's like up to six different episodes and so I think we're gonna try to watch like at least two of those tonight hopefully and then maybe after dinner and after watching the show maybe I can jump back into finishing this but I don't know like I'm not super obsessed with this right now which is kind of depressing so like I'll, I'll have to see if I'm in the mood for this after we watch TV.
brushes in there. Hello, it is the end of the night for me. It's around 10 o'clock at night right now. Me, Rachel, and Obed, we made a really great dinner. We just had some burgers and fries and I added bacon on mine. It was so freaking good. And then we ended up watching three episodes of The Last of Us and episode three had me bawling my eyes out. Like that was so unexpected. Like what the fuck? That show is so good. If you haven't seen the show, it's a show that's on HBO and it's kind of like a, it's like a post pandemic, you know, a apocalyptic type of show where there are these creatures that are kind of like zombies. They're like, they're honestly like a mix between like a zombie and like a demogorgon because they kind of like act and behave like zombies and the, the illness and the sickness kind of spreads like zombies, but also their faces start to like <laughs> deform into looking like a demogorgon. It's really um, truly scary. There's a lot of worms too, like kind of like body worms and it's disgusting. It's honestly, it kind of reminds me of the troop a little bit in that way with the whole like worms and like, <laughs> like it's kind of gross, but it's also just like really good. Like the characterization is done so well on this show and episode three literally just made me like cry my eyes out. Like, oh my God, that was so unexpected. Like what a beautiful story. And so I'm super impressed with this show. I think we're gonna try to catch up on the newest episodes tomorrow night because I think we have two more to see before we're caught up and current on that show. But yeah, overall, I feel like this has been a really great day. It's been a pretty, you know, typical day for me as a as a YouTuber and like what I'm doing on YouTube. I think before I, uh, you know, lay down and call it a night, I might try to read a little bit more of Finlay Donovan Jumps the Gun, but I don't know. These days, I find that I don't read as much right before bed as I used to just because like, once I get in bed, I'm just like on TikTok and like doing other things on social media. Like I get so distracted now, but I do feel like some nights I do prefer reading in bed before bed. It just depends on how gripped I am with like the current book that I'm reading, you know? And I feel like tonight, at least with this, I don't feel like an immediate urge right now to want to read this. So I might just save it for tomorrow. But I feel like, you know, even though I do tend to, you know, lay down and like get ready for bed at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night, I don't go to sleep until at least like one in the morning or more likely two in the morning, sometimes three in the morning. It just depends. My sleep schedule is a little bit fucked up. And to be honest, like I haven't had a normal sleep schedule in years, probably. I've just always been more of a night person. And so I just always want to find myself staying up later at night and not waking up that early in the morning. And that's just how I am. But yeah, that kind of wraps up, you know, a day in the life. So I hope you enjoy it. You'll have to let me know what you think of a video like this. And if you would like to see more videos like this from me in the future, I have done a day in the life video like this before on my Patreon. So if you are interested in seeing another video like this from me right now, you can go and check it out from my Patreon. It was from like last summer when I was still living with my parents and that was a really fun video that I made on my Patreon. I'm really proud of how that one turned out. But yeah, I would also love to know your thoughts if you have read the new Finlay Donovan. How did you feel about it? What are you thinking about it? I'm definitely gonna be finishing this before the end of February. So if you'd like to hear all of my full thoughts on this book, uh, definitely tune in to my February wrap-up, which I'm assuming will be my next video that goes up after this one. I'm also going to be doing the live show with Kayla and a bunch of friends over on her book club for the Literally Dead book club. I think at the first week of March, I think it's going to be happening on March 4th. And so yeah, there will be plenty of discussion for this book coming your way. But for now, it's feeling like it might be in the three-star territory and that makes me sad. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye!